Welcome back to the Rowdy Studios. I'm Buzz Cutler. Bass Masters is on the end there in his lilac shirt. See how I wave to the people, Bob? Why don't wow. you wave to the We're people? We're flanking Bob Pockris wearing his SceneDaily.com shirt. Just the rugged, good-looking SceneDaily.com Just in case he forgets where he works. That's right. So, Bob, you're heading to Miami today. Carl Edwards, Tony Stewart, head-to-head. -head. This time it counts. You know, it hasn't one, counted the last 35. <laughs> <laughs> on one hand... No. On one hand, you say, okay, it's Homestead, it's a mile and a half down, force track, Carl Edwards probably has the advantage. On the other hand, you say, but Tony Stewart's just been playing faster in the chase for the championship. So is there somebody you give a clear nod to between these two? I give a clear nod to Carl Edwards. Okay. Yeah, because... Uh, so we finally, we just found out who's going to win. Because well, love that. that. That's where my nod goes, uh, because... Uh, and it's a clear nod, Bob. You're clear, not hesitating yeah, no, at all not here. not at all. I mean, he's beaten Tony Stewart, uh, I want to say, the last six years at Homestead. He's run better than him. He has an average finish of like 5.7 at Homestead. He's he, Homestead is like... It's, it's like a, home. It's like only, his, his mother's well, well, Somebody asked me if it was like a home field advantage. And I said, it wasn't a home field advantage in the sense of like the crowds for you. But like, you know how the outfielder knows how the ball bounces off the wall? Uh, yeah, uh, it, I think he knows. He what, knows the feel he wants right. to go. He knows fast. the feel, and he knows what the adjustments should do. And but, the other thing is, if I may, if mm -hmm. I may, a lot of people comes but, in. But, but, okay. but, a lot of people might say, "Well, gee, what about Texas?" And when you look at Texas, that was much more of a hit or miss track for Carl Edwards. This is much more of a consistent. I know what it takes to run fast here type of place. Can so I just say one thing, though? Yes, you can say one thing. It's Tony I agree with Stewart, that too. man. I agree with that, too. He can put that car on his back and run across the finish line ahead of Carl Edwards if he <laughs> wanted to. Remember, here, kitty, kitty, at, at the Brickyard, that's the feeling you get over these past, you know, handful of races. Like, he is just, you know, willing himself to victory. Yeah, but I think willing will only go so far. And I, uh, he can say here, kitty, kitty, but all of a sudden the kitty's claws come out, and uh, and claws him, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> maybe not that loud. Um, <laughs> Sorry, so, Bob. But I, yeah, I'm I still make it think, realistic. Um, I, I think Carl Edwards is going to win this here, thing. And the, Roush has won six of the last seven races. But beyond all the stats, I think Carl has a good mentality. He's he's hasn't gotten all up and down all season. He's been very even keel. He's had Ultimately, 18, at the end of the day, that's what you need. top five right. finishes. He hasn't been all upset that he's had, what, six second-place finishes or something like that this year. Uh, he's, he's known he's been contending for wins, and he's very at peace at, with his season, and I think he'll be fine. He's found the zen. Yes. The, the he's in the zone. Yes. The let, zen let me, zone. Let me ask you this question. Do, is there a clear advantage when you're talking Bob Osborne that's, versus Terry That's what I was going to ask. Uh, I would say they've both. I, I only Darian's been through it a little bit before with Jimmy, right in the early days. But uh, beyond that, I would say not a whole lot. Feels I would, like I think they're pretty equal. Feels like the chemistry with Osborne and Edwards is at a really good spot right now. I mean, I think if you look at Phoenix, if you look at even Martinsville, if you look at Texas, you're feeling like. If they're not right at the beginning of the race, if they haven't quite gotten there, the length of a cup race is enough time for these guys to get their car to be pretty good at the end. So I think their sort of chemistry seems to be in a pretty good spot. I th yeah, I think both of the uh, – I, I would say that Carl may let Bob make more decisions than Tony <laughs> may question Darian a little bit more. Right. But uh, I, I think they both have pretty good chemistry. I wouldn't – Either one, if I had either one of them on the box and was one of those guys, I wouldn't uh, You'd feel, feel all right. Yeah, I feel pretty good. What are the chances that this thing comes down to fuel mileage, Bob? Oh, uh, I hope not. Um, you think you think we got enough debris out there to ensure that doesn't happen? I, there's going to be <laughs> debris. There's there's going to be some payback in the last 40 laps for something that somebody wants to get uh, Matt out Kenseth, of their system. Matt yeah, yeah. Brian. Um, you know, our buddy Matt Crossman, uh, who writes for Sporting News, he brought up an interesting point this morning. He said, you know, Tony Stewart's going to have the whole Hendrick organization behind him. Does that sort of come into play, the greater Chevy nation versus the greater Ford no, nation? Not at all. Uh, it's the Ford know, 400. Because, I mean, if, if that was the case, then Hendrick should have been just as good as Tony and Ryan were at uh, Phoenix. At Phoenix. Yeah, certainly they, they were not. Yeah, no. I don't uh, – no, I don't uh, see that. I mean, there's enough, there's enough at Roush for, for help for Carl than as much as 
Tony gets help from Hendrick. Last question, Bob. Uh, does it matter? How much does it matter? You know, that pass that Tony made late, the fact that Carl had the lead at Phoenix, wasn't able to win the race. Now it's a three-point gap, which means if Tony wins, he does win the championship. So he does, in a sense, control his own fate, regardless of what Carl does. If he be, if he wins that race, he'll win the championship. How important is that to the dynamic of this I, thing? I think it is. I mean, if you look at a, any guy who's left points on the table, it's been Carl Edwards, mm -hmm. right? I mean, Dover made the mistake, had to come back. Yep. Kansas, the pre-race adjustments that were horrible. Uh, last yep. week, he should have won, really, right? I yep. mean, in a lot of ways, uh, they just, you know, strategy kind of bit him a little bit. So if there's anybody who should be frustrated that they've left points on the table, it's probably Carl Edwards. And if he doesn't win, that's what people are going to – That's when you look back on this championship, you're going to say, wow, they had a great chase. I mean, they're, they're averaging, what, 5.2 yep. finish right now. But it could have even been better. But he's still your choice. He's still my choice. To win NASCAR's – Bob's choice. Chase for the Sprint Cup. 2011 2011. Edition. It's going to be awesome. We'll be back next week to talk about whether Bob is brilliant or, or a total idiot. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Or possibly Thanks. both. <laughs> a brilliant idiot. <laughs> An idiot savant without the savant part. Rowdy.com. Say it like it is. Say what like it is. Rowdy.com.